you. Here I am in the boardroom um, wishing two uh, extreme colleagues a happy future retirement. Um, first, for Dr. Wadwa, it's been a long relationship since I started here as a nurse in 1982. And the thing that I keep the most from Dr. Wadwa is lifelong learning. Because still, now, just before retirement, he's still teaching me things. I've known Dr. Atma Singh Wadwa and Dr. Jean Anawati for over 40 years and 35 years, respectively. We were colleagues together at St. Jean de Brebeuf Hospital when it was in operation and at the West Nipissing General Hospital afterwards. They were great people to work with. Happy retirement, Dr. Wadwa. It has been a pleasure to know you personally and professionally since the age of four. As a small child, you often came to our family home for dinner and banana cake. I used to sit for hours fascinated by the stories of India. And now, as a nurse and the president and CEO of the hospital, I still enjoy your stories, your words of wisdom, and your acts of kindness. I will miss our regular daily meetings each day where you come by for some additional words of wisdom. All the best, Dr. Wadwa, and a well-deserved retirement. You will be missed. John, uh, just want to take this opportunity to wish you a happy and healthy retirement. You're a, you've been a very empathetic, compassionate, and sympathetic family doc over the years, and you've spent a lot of time in your office, Emerge, long-term care, and uh, even did house calls right up until the end. Uh, I think your motto must be patient first. Uh, good luck, enjoy your trips, spend a lot of time on the lake and uh, have a great time with your family over the next many years. Alors Jean, mon grand frère, qu'est-ce que je peux dire? C'est vraiment la fin d'une ère pour nous dans le nord de l'Ontario. Mais c'est une ère qui continue. Euh, je me vois comme un lien, n'est-ce pas, entre toi et ton fils qui a été dans le tout premier, dans le tout premier groupe d'étudiants de, de, de médecine et que je, J'ai le privilège d'être le mentor dans cette première semaine à l'école de médecine et qui est maintenant notre collègue ici au département de France. Euh, J'ai toujours énormément respecté. Et ce n'est pas pour rien que chaque fois que tu venais à l'urgence me saluer, que je t'appelais grand frère. Euh, J'ai le respect et une affection envers toi comme je l'aurais envers un frère plus âgé. Je te souhaite la meilleure chance dans ta retraite et dans les jours à venir. Tawadwa, we wish you a very, very Happy retirement, Dr. Wadba, and just so that you know, you'll always be a coffee here with your name on it for you. Hi, Dr. Anawati, uh, Jean, um, thank you for agreeing to be my supervisor for my introduction into Canadian uh, family practice. Uh, without you, I'm not quite sure what would be happening now. I thank you for your kind, benevolent, but firm guidance. Uh, thank you very much, and as you know, I hope I won't need your help for very much longer. Thank you. Cher Dr. Nowati, en ce jour de célébration de votre retraite, j'aimerais souligner la qualité de vos actions et la façon remarquable dont vous avez toujours exercé envers nos seniors les plus vulnérables. Les résidentes et les résidents d'Auchanteau ont apprécié votre dévouement et votre engagement. Et par vos autres compétences professionnelles et votre humanité, vous avez assuré leur estime confiance. Tout en adressant nos meilleurs voeux de longue et heureuse retraite avec votre épouse et votre famille, Je tiens à vous exprimer notre sincère reconnaissance pour votre contribution à l'offre de soins exemplaires de tout premier ordre. Au nom de tout le personnel de Château, on vous souhaite une retraite bien élevée. Bonjour, Bonjour le Dr. Anna et une joyeuse retraite. It's been a pleasure working with you and uh, wish you all the best in your retirement. Bonjour, Dr. Anna J'espère que vous reconnaissez euh, tous les visages et les le beau monde autour de la table. On a un petit message pour vous. Au nom de nous tous, du Centre de santé communautaire, nous reconnaissons le travail ardu, mais intéressant et prometteur depuis 2008. Vous étiez assis, vous aussi, à cette table, ou à une autre table, où on avait à faire prendre des décisions et euh, savoir qu'est-ce qu'on voulait pour notre centre. Alors, on est rendu maintenant à la mi 2014. Nous sommes aux phases 3.2 et 4.1. Suzanne pourra vous donner le petit fine print de ça. 
Mais nous gardons toujours confiance que le Centre de santé communautaire verra son nouvel édifice plus vite que plus tard. Donc, merci pour tout votre travail dans ce dossier. Et nous vous souhaitons une retraite très, très bien méritée. Et on va se voir à l'ouverture officielle de notre Centre de santé communautaire bientôt pour l'espace. Euh, Docteur Anouati, euh, on vous souhaite une super belle retraite. Vos devoirs et leçons sont complétés. Merci pour tous les conseils judicieux que vous avez partagés avec nous. C'était très apprécié. Hi, Dr. Wadwa. I was so happy to hear that you're going to be retiring. It'll certainly be well deserved. I just wanted to tell you that the community of Sturgeon Falls really appreciated that you settled here and started your practice here. I have a little story to tell you about that. It was in the 1970s, early 1970s, and uh, we had had our walkathon to uh, renovate the ICU, and the maintenance people had done all their work, and things were coming along well. And you had approached Sister La Pam and asked her if she might want to hire these two nurses from Ottawa to uh, help train our nurses and get our ICU started. So I was in staff education at the time and I met these two nurses when they finally did come to Sturgeon Falls and they were telling me how unfortunate it was that they had bought a little puppy and that um, this little puppy couldn't stay in the motel with them. The motel people wouldn't let them uh, keep the little puppy in the motel so I had a little apartment and I had a little girl so I offered to keep the little puppy for the weekend so um, they neglected to tell me though that they had given this little puppy some deworming pills so needless to say I picked up a lot of poop on the weekend so it just goes to say, Dr. Wadwa, how we really, really, really wanted you to be part of our community and stay in Sturgeon Falls and work in our hospital. Hi, Atma. Just wanted to wish you all the best in your retirement. I've known you for many years and usually get the daily handshake when I see you and uh, always keep me on my toes. So. I hope you enjoy uh, many years of retirement and just remember the coffee's always on but you may have to get the milk from the emergency department. So I'm here to um, bid a farewell to Dr. Wadwa. Um, Dr. Wadwa, you've been uh, an inspiration over the years. It's, uh, it's been amazing to see just how many things that you've been able to do with your career, how you've helped our community in so many different ways, um, and it's been an honor and a, and a pleasure to work with you. Um, I hope that you'll continue to come to the CME meetings with us and, and share some social time and, and relax while you're on your retirement, and uh, um, I thank you again for all of your help. You've been uh, a wonderful uh, mentor, and, uh, and I thank you, and have a great and wonderful retirement. Thank you. Dr. Wadwa, it was just 25 years ago when you took me under your wing. I was only 22 years old. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your guidance, your wisdom, and your patience. Happy retirement, and I will miss you. Bonjour, Dr. Jean. C'est au nom de mes collègues et de vos amis au Conseil d'administration et du Pilage Général de DPC West que je vous dis en leur nom et en mon nom. Un grand merci de tous les services dont vous avez fait preuve et que vous avez offert au courant des années à l'hôpital général du Népessing West. Et d'ailleurs, que vous continuez à offrir à nos patients et à notre personnel. Docteur Jean, on vous reconnaît à juste titre comme étant un homme passionné de la médecine, mais surtout toujours à l'écoute de vos patients. Un homme d'écoute, plein de questions et toujours cherchant une réponse pour régler une situation. Jean, votre dévouement n'a jamais été questionné et votre attention sans partage lorsqu'il est contribué à l'amélioration du sort d'un autre ou de notre hôpital. On ne peut donc que vous souhaiter une très bonne retraite bien méritée et recevoir autant d'amour, d'affection et d'amitié que vous avez répandu. Votre retraite pour nous est un grand défi 
puisque nous devons le relever avec honneur et avec grâce. Une tâche que de chercher à combler un rôle, un poste bien préparé et soigneusement établi par votre professionnalisme et votre intégrité. Merci, Dr Jean, d'être l'homme que vous êtes, aimable, accueillant, souriant et tout simplement un ami. Après votre retirement, Dr Anna Wadi, j'ai rencontré à vous connaître professionnellement au cours des 26 ans à West Nipsey General Hospital. Et vos mots de wisdom, vos teachings et votre leadership ont été grandement appréciés. Ce que j'admire le plus de vous, c'est votre dédication et votre commitment à la santé care, le hospital et notre communauté. Vous avez champion some great improvements dans notre communauté healthcare. You have been an inspiration to many of us. I hope that you will still drop by on a regular basis to give me some more words of wisdom and to tell me how to manage my hospital. It has been a pleasure working with you uh, over the past several years and happy extended retirement. So this is my message to uh, Dr. Anwadi Ja. Um, I think I'm going to really, uh, really miss having you here. Um, you've been a very uh, big Part of my my life and my career uh, since I first started here. Um, you've been uh, a mentor to me. You've been uh, a sounding board for for ideas. Um, you've always been there for me when I needed uh, some reassurance or some uh, some help or <laughs> when I just felt like uh, things were just getting too stressful or too overwhelming. You were always there to to lend an ear and to, to be supportive and I really appreciate that. Um, uh, I have the utmost respect for you as a, as a physician, also as a, as a parent. I mean it's been uh, wonderful to see how you've raised your, your children to be such uh, wonderful people and um, I, you know, I respect that and I, I look up to that and I thank you for, for everything that you've done to help me. Um, I will miss <laughs> The walks that I had often, going back and forth to your office asking you questions, I'm not going to have that anymore. Um, and uh, I will miss that dearly. Uh, Jocelyn, thank you. I think you know you've been a really big part of uh, a part of our life here too. And uh, you know, as they say, behind every great man, there is an even greater woman. And I think that you've you've done lots you know you've helped us throughout the years you ran the office in a, such a great and efficient way um, and, and we're going to miss and miss having you here also so Jocelyn to uh, enjoy your retirement and thank you so to both of you and thank you Bonjour Dr Anawati c'est moi <laughs> Je voulais te remercier personnellement de m'avoir appuyé durant le développement du rôle d'infirmière praticienne parce que c'était dans les tout débuts puis euh, tu m'as vraiment aidé, tu as été mon mentor. Um, puis je reconnais, euh, je serai toujours reconnaissante de ton appui que tu m'as euh, fourni durant le tout début parce que c'était très difficile. Et puis euh, je vais être éter éternellement euh, reconnaissante. Donc euh, un gros merci, bonne retraite. So here I am sitting where I always sit when I start my shift, my charting area, my computer room. It's 8 a.m. I'm getting ready for another enjoyable 24 hours in Sturgeon Falls. And I know that one of the reasons it's going to be enjoyable is that within the first half hour, Atwa Wadwa is going to walk in here and shake my hand and ask me how I'm doing. No particular reason why he has to do that. It's just the kind of guy he is. He'll come in and always greet me every morning, as I'm sure he greets every emergency physician. It's a nice touch. It's an appreciated one from our specialist colleague. And uh, it always leaves me with a smile on my face. Dr. Wadwa came to Sturgeon before I did, and he was instrumental in setting up the intensive care unit. He did a great job, and he maintained a very high standard. And he strove to maintain that high standard after it was moved to the new hospital. It benefited the community tremendously. He also had a private consulting a business in, in town, and his pa many patients benefited from that because they didn't have the extra burden of traveling out of town for deeper medical problems. 
Dr. Anawati came a few years later and he made us thriving family practice. He later became coroner and was deeply involved in, in, uh, in the Northern Medical School. And I think he was a teacher there for that institute, a teacher for that institution as well. Both John, At Atma and John are industrious, dedicated, and compassionate doctors. Dr. Wadwa, on behalf of my colleagues at the Board of Directors of the West Nipissing General Hospital, I take this opportunity to thank you for the many years of service and dedication that you've offered to our hospital and to our community. Your contribution has not gone unnoticed, and we sincerely appreciate all that you have done in a very quiet and humble way. May your retirement provide you with great pleasure and many relaxations. You've deserved it. Many thanks for caring and for providing excellent care at the West Nipsing General Hospital. Merci Dr. Anawati et Jocelyne pour les bons soins que j'ai eus, aussi à ma famille, puis aussi toute la... pour m'endurer quand je faisais mes ondes diagnostiques aussi. So, uh, <laughs> tu avais un bon sens d'humour, so j'espère que tu as une bonne retraite. Dr. Wadwa, I've been here 22 years. I've worked alongside of you as an RPN and desk clerk for 11 years in nursing care unit. And here in the ECG department for 11 years. You've taught me a lot and I've enjoyed working with you. Thank you, Dr. Wadwa, and have a happy retirement. I will miss you. Bonjour, Dr. Anawati. Uh, Suzanne Davidson Noel, puis au nom du Centre de Santé Communautaire de Nipissing West. Nous tenons à vous remercier des contributions que vous avez faites pour nous. Premièrement, quand euh, le ministère de la Santé a annoncé euh, l'ouverture de nouveaux centres de santé, vous étiez là comme conseil, membre du conseil intérimaire pour pousser que le centre de santé communautaire soit une réalité et vous avez resté comme membre du conseil jusqu'en 2010. Et puis en 2010, vous nous avez encore aidé comme médecin consultant pour nous euh, permettre d'ouvrir avant qu'on ait euh, notre médecin d'embauche à temps plein. Et on vous remercie pour ça. Vous nous avez dépanné à plusieurs reprises aussi durant les cinq dernières années pour euh, faire avancer les différentes initiatives du centre. Et on vous remercie. Euh, en, par en partant, on vous souhaite une merveilleuse retraite euh, bien méritée et beaucoup de succès. Et on, je suis certaine qu'on va vous revoir dans différents comités parce que euh, vous avez un esprit social euh, très engagé et euh, on sait que ce n'est pas la dernière fois que vous allez euh, être euh, présent dans les services de santé. So, here I am sitting as chief of staff and I look up to my colleagues that are about to retire. With Dr. Anawati, it's a very special relationship. It started way back in 1978 when I fractured an ankle and he gave me heck for breaking the cast that he had so nicely put on. And from that time, I asked him to be my family doctor, and it's been an ongoing relationship. After that, I started here as a nurse in 1982. And from the time, he always kind of teased me, Claire, if you're not gonna have kids, you should become a doctor. With the urging from him and my mother as well, I did become a doctor. So from a family doc, to a mentor, to a colleague, to a preceptor, and now somebody that I will always look up to. As well, and this is a little hard for me to, um, to share, Dr. Anawati took care of both my parents in their last days. And for that, I will always be grateful. Merci beaucoup, Jean. Puis bonne chance, bonne santé. Au revoir. Et certain que tu vas continuer à m'enseigner. Merci, Jean. Congratulations on their retirement. And I wish them nothing but the best in this new phase of their life. I'll miss you a lot, Adam. Take care of it. I'm in your retirement, Dr. Dr. Wadwa. I hope you have a good retirement. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy spending time with Margaret, with family and friends. Have a good retirement. Atma, best of luck, best of health, 
and I'm looking forward to reading your poems after retirement. Happy retirement, Dr. Anawadi! God, we're gonna miss you! Congratulations, Dad, on your retirement. We're super happy for you. I have to say it's been something watching you as you progress through your career and I start mine. Anytime I hear Dr. Anawadi in the halls at the, at the hospital here in Ottawa, I always turn around looking for you, but I know that no matter what uh, my career brings, I'll always have you to look up to. And know that even though you're retiring from medicine, you'll always be a wonderful dad, and I can't wait to see what the next chapter in your life holds for you. Congratulations. Dad, enjoy your new full-time job of reading, relaxing, and bargain hunting. Happy retirement. Congratulations on finally retiring. I hope you enjoy your free time. Happy retirement, Dr. and Mrs. Anawadi. Wishing you the best, and we'll be keeping track of you. Happy Happy semi-retirement, Dr. Anawadi. Bye, Dr. Anawadi and Dr. Lubarba from the lab. Bye, Dr. Anawadi and Dr. Lubarba. We're going to miss you. Happy Happy retirement, Dr. Anawadi and Dr. Dr. Lubarba. Happy retirement, Dr. Wadwa. Happy retirement, Dr. Wadwa. Happy retirement. Happy retirement, Dr. Wadwa. This one's for you. Merci. 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 Merci.